Frank comes up to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, invite uh, a familiar face to uh, say a few words as well. Dr. Isa Udidi is certainly no stranger to uh, our party and is certainly no stranger really to the world. And I see that because, ladies and gentlemen, three years ago, Dr. Udidi stood for election for the office of president in Nigeria. And he, like Frank Lees, has very important values, human rights, supporting the vulnerable, and strong quality health care and education. And Dr. Udidi made our country very proud when he went overseas and stood for election uh, in the country of Nigeria. <laughs> I'd like to join you and welcome Dr. Udidi to say a few words about our friend Frank Lees. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I thank you particularly for taking up this challenge, a challenge in the sense that it was really raining heavily today, and yet you are here. So I want to thank you very much for coming. Somebody asked me, why can't please? And I wish the person was here today, and I'll say, look at this room, and the answer is very straightforward. Look at the mosaic of people that are here. So that's why we want Frank Lee. He's capable of reaching out to all the people in Ontario. The Progressive Presidential Party, what it is at the moment is to bring in more people who can produce the votes to take back Ontario for the people of Ontario. And I think Frank Lee's can do a great job there. That's why I'm supporting Frank Lee. Now I'd like to ask supporting Frank Lee can be gleaned from the discussions I had with somebody I tried to sign on for Frank Lee. And the person told me I am not conservative, but I will vote Frank Lee. And I said, why? Because I need an answer so that I can use an answer to convince other people. And she told me, well, I give you a story of what the chicken told the pig. The chicken told the pig that, you know what, we can feed the whole world. And the pig said, oh, I understand, you mean egg and ham? And the chicken said, yes. The pig said, well, uh, I know you're going to say that, because yours is a contribution. For me, it's a commitment. <laughs> but to make ham, you have to kill the pig. that Frank Lees is not only a contributor, but Frank Lees all his years has been showing commitment to the cause of the people of Ontario, especially with the great work he's been doing from his writing as an, as an MPP, and that she's very sure that he's going to carry this through when he becomes the Premier of Ontario. So why is Frank Lees a great person to vote for with regards to the leadership contest? One simple answer. One simple answer. Make no problems about it. We have four great candidates contesting in this election for leader. But what sets Frank Lee's apart, Frank Lee's is the one I strongly feel who can actually not only be leader, but can give you Ontario back. He can be premier. So I call on you, please, to go to your friends. I know you are all committed. We've got you already. But I need you to bring in more people before the 15th so that we can get Frank Lee's to win this election. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in the greatest city, in the greatest country in the world. And make no mistake about it that the people, uh, all of you here today, fully well understand that the issues that matter most to the city, property assessment, taxes, quality health care and education, public transit, these are issues that are very important to Frank Lees. He, in my opinion, is the urban leader. 